How you doing? Good. You ready, boo? Turn your light on. It is on. Oh, it is on? Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm about to say, like, I don't know. You want me to move closer to it? No, okay. And then put the, don't keep moving. You got to get steady for me, love. I am. I was finna go fix the light, but we okay. go, go ahead. Go fix the light if you want to. I think it's okay. I mean, all right. I don't, I don't want to keep moving. What's your name, excited. baby? My name is Ivy. Ivy, where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Illinois. Illinois. How old yeah. are you? I'm 34. 34. Yes. Um, Ivy, Illinois, 34. What you do for a living? I actually work from home. I am a social media entertainer. Social media entertainer. You have yes. any children? Yes, I actually do. I have a 70-year-old beautiful young lady, and I have a seven-year-old badass little boy. He <laughs> <laughs> need a man um, in his life. <laughs> same dad? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, real quick. I have on a, I know I said that one time. I said I don't do the Kendrick Ham because I don't be wearing full outfits. I have, a lot of times I do have on a full outfit. I know I said that. I have on a full outfit today. I just ain't going to do the Kendrick Ham because I'm not going to show you my booty. And my outfit's very tight. So that's why I'm not going to do the Kendrick Ham. But I do have on a full outfit. For y'all saying I don't in the comments. Back to you, Ivy. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're a social media entertainer. Um, You said two different dads? Yeah, no, same dad. Same dad. So, was y'all ever married? No. You never wanted to get married, though? I definitely do. I want I want the white fence. I want the white gown. I, no, I, I said you want to get married to your child's father. No. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Why not? He's in jail, and he needs to stay there. Uh-uh. Sorry. Oh, he's in jail? Yeah. When did he go to jail? Uh, he been locked up for about two years now. So do you think a new guy might be worried about that? Why would he be worried about someone that's in jail? Is he not getting out of jail? Um, about 2043. I, yeah. are, are you able to share what he did? Yeah, he beat his bitch up. And that's why we're not together. He was abusive. So you got, he has 20 years in jail? Yes. Well, he don't have 20 years for beating a girl. He actually got 20 years because after he went to jail for beating the girl, he beat a man into a coma for two weeks. So that's what the 20 years came from. So he's a non-factor. He's a non-factor. I have no baby daddy drama. Yeah. Uh, unless he get out early. If he get out early, I'm still not going to have no drama. He actually don't even stay in, in Illinois. He stays in another state. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ivy, what's your zodiac sign? Capricorn, baby, baby. Capricorn. All right. So Ivy Illinois, 34, is a Capricorn, a social media entertainer, two children, 17 to 7, by the same man. He's not a factor because he's currently in jail for at least 20 years. Yeah. So what kind of man are you looking for, boo? Oh, this is the best part. Well, I am not you know, picky when it comes to looks. Just as long as you don't look like you will eat all of my food up within a week. And it's supposed to be left for a month. Like, don't be fat and don't be greedy. I don't like that. But, you know, I'm really down to earth. I really, you know, I like a tall guy. I'm 5'7", so about 5'9 and up would be lit. Um, I love a guy with, like, a little body tone. But if not, like I said, I'm not picky. Just don't be fat. Um, I like a man with his stuff together. Um, I want to build with someone. I want to fruit you with someone. Somebody with some of the same interests. I want to I want a restaurant. I want to open up a restaurant. So hopefully he can cook. Um, hopefully he have a big penis. I don't want no little short, short, stubby dick man. Sorry, I have to feel it. I like it. Um, and it can have a curve. Um, also, you know, don't wait, be wait, wait. Broke. You, said it, you, you said it can have a curve? It can, it can. I like curves too. I like when they go around the corner, been a block a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Just, just Wait, saying. Ivy, give me a, give me a, give me a. <laughs> Just saying. So if it's just straight, that wouldn't work for you? No, it's cool if it's straight, but the curve seems to be better. But if it's straight, it's cool. Just be circumcised. I don't want no limp balls in my coochie. Like, I would love it to be circumcised. Please. Please. Um. Okay, continue. Ivy, go ahead. We got the penis out the way. Be a little big down there, please. Um, And also, please don't have no stanky feet issues because I ain't going to lie to you. A hardworking man always has some stanky ass feet, and I don't like it. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, just keep yourself hygiene up. Um, I like to go out. So, if you a guy that is, uh, and also the age uh, frame, 35 to 40. Because anything after 40, I think you got gray hairs and your dick probably won't get hard no more. I don't know. But so age frame is 35 to 40. Um, 
also, you know, I like to go out, I like to go out to eat. I still like flowers, you know, I like little cards. I like, cause today is Wednesday, you're beautiful. I like that shit. None of them niggas, I mean, no men is like that out here in Illinois. Um, so yeah, I'm very well open to long distance relationship as well. Um, cause I'm trying to move out of Illinois. So I'm, you know, I'm down for whatever. I like to party. I do drink. I don't smoke. Um, so I don't care if he smokes or drinks, just don't be an alcoholic drunk. Like I don't want no fucking person drunk and always arguing. Like I don't like a narcissistic, argumentative, toxic guy. After that, you have it. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Um, does does he have to look a certain way? We got the people. I mean, because I know I look a mess right now. I just didn't think I was going to get picked because I've been trying to get here for a very long time. You're beautiful. You're amazing. I, you inspire me because, like I said, I'm a social media entertainer. And I'm like, damn, I love what she's doing. So I'm like, I am looking for love. I actually do my own show, not on Facebook. I'm not promoting it. But I do my own show for the love of Ivy on my platforms that I go live on. So I'm literally really looking for love. But um, what was the question? Does he have to look a certain way? Oh, yeah. So with the face, yes. I'm not picky, but please don't look like the dude from White Chicks, the guy with that big forehead. And he actually, you know who I'm talking about? The guy that balls got pinched by Cat Williams and Friday. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't know his name. I don't want you to look like that, whoever he is. He played in Friday, and he got his balls by the Twizzler. Jiggling on your balls. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That guy, that big, tall, black, ugly guy. He played a white chick as well. I don't know his name, but he's very ugly. I don't want no man to look like that. I want you to have a soft face. Like I don't, I don't care if you light skin or dark skin, but just don't be very ugly. Like, look like a turtle in the face. Like, please, please. No missing teeth. <sighs> Does he have to make a certain amount of money? I don't care. Just as long as you can afford to buy me some food when I'm hungry. I like to eat. So if I tell you I'm hungry and you don't have no money, I'm, that's a deal breaker. Um, but, you know, and if, you know, I need a little help, I don't want to be dating or having sex with somebody. You know, I, I got some good sex. Like, I got niggas busting out windows, like, years ago. I've been single for two years. Um, you know, it's just like, uh, I, I just don't want no broke-ass nigga that I can't call for something. I'm fucking you, give you all this good sex, all of this good loving, and you can't buy me nothing? Like, nothing? Like, yeah. So it don't matter. Just have some extra change. Okay, let's do the Kendra can. That's when we see your full body. Oh my God, I have no butt. But hold up. This is okay. Okay, hold up. What? <laughs> hold, hold up. I can't see your full body. Hold up. I'm trying to get it. Okay, we can, we, are you gonna stand up on something? Don't fall, girl. What? <laughs> Don't fall. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Damn. Fuck. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, shit. It's my son. I say, hey, Cecilia. Hey. Okay. You want a baby? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> now, that's another thing. I'm a little clumsy. <laughs> that shit's okay. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a team player, man. For real, any guy out there, I will fight niggas too. So if you beefing with anybody, you got to ride or die. I love men. I love them. I just, I'm just tired of being single. I've never been a hoe. I never sold my pussy. Never had no problems with STDs, no body functions, like odors. Uh, I give good head. I deep throat. Got, got 3,000. So, yeah. Um, okay, so all right, so let's um yeah. Ivy, what was your last relationship? It was two years ago, actually. Okay, you don't gotta answer this question, but I'm gonna ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? About two months ago. Two months ago. Okay. Yeah. Ivy, why do you think you're single? Well, every relationship I've been in, I could count on one hand. I've been in five relationships because it's always been like years. I'm a lover, I love to cook, love taking care of my man. So um, only thing is, one of the guys I broke up with because he was abusive. That was my baby father. Um, the other guy cheated. Um, and I broke up with him. We were together for like five, six years. He just could not stop fucking cheating. I don't understand it. Nigga, I suck your dick from the fucking back. Okay, anyway, so, um, the third guy, he did crack. Um, and I Are these true he... stories? You're being honest? I, I swear to God. I, I swear to God. Like, right in a... 
writing up to God, I'm not fucking lying. I mean, okay. not trying to curse. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, the third guy, the third guy, he was on crack. Like, seriously, like, he is real bad in Illinois. And um, I ended up finding out he was doing crack after being with him for six years. Um, and I used to wonder why my $20 was missing and stuff like that. And seriously, like, he was stealing my money to go buy crack. And I swear to God, I'm not joking. Um, and the fourth guy, he was a cheater. And he put his hands on me for the first time. And I was in a abuse relationship before. So that was a no-go for me. Um, and, like, the fifth and sixth guy, they just, like, one of them was boring. Like, we barely had sex. He always got drunk and came home and went to sleep. Very lazy. Um, and I just got tired of it. So I ended up leaving before I cheat because I don't cheat. Um, and uh, the last guy, he was just lazy as well and you know i ended up finding out that he was cheating too so most of my relationships is because the guys can't be faithful oh, okay so why would a guy be lucky to be with you other than you can help him in a fist fight and you give good oh. head oh uh, because i'm actually a hard worker i love to work i love money so i'm not a gold digger um i'm looking for actual love like i'm not looking for nobody to just have sex with or to use it for money i want somebody i can be with i'm a giver i'm a lover i'm a pleaser and i think that's why a lot of my relationships don't work out because i'm too focused on trying to please them and not thinking about what am I looking for? What can be pleased? What can you do to please me? And then by the time I realize that if you're not the right one for me, it's too late because I'm too busy trying to make the guy happy. So yeah, you got a lover, a fighter, you got a sex in a bed and a motherfucker hawk in the streets. Like, and I, and I know how to cut it off. Like I'm not ghetto. I like to be, I'm funny. You know, I keep you laughing. Yeah, I'm a go-getter. What's up? You say you're not ghetto? I'm not. I mean, of, what's your definition of ghetto? <sighs> okay, um, like loud, um, and wretched. Like you know, just when you go out in public, like it's a time and a place. You going out in public, bitch, bitch, bitch. Fuck you talking about you stupid bitch. I don't like you, bitch. And fuck you and your mama, bitch. Like that. I'm not like that. In person. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is Ivy in Illinois. She'll date 35 to 40. She's 34, a Capricorn. Do you want more kids? I mean, no, sorry. No, no. more kids. The guy can't have kids, though, right? He can have kids. Just I hope they not baby's kids, and I hope your baby mama in their life, like, and that, you know, you know, when we get a breakaway of kids, it's like breakaway from kids, like, not just my kids going, your kids going too. You know, because, like, kids and me, we cool. But my son, like, he just really fucked it up for a lot of kids. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Um, I, I enjoyed you, Ivy. I, I love you, Kendra. I love your show. Keep doing you. You are my inspiration. I actually want to come out with a show and be as successful as you. I'm oh. working my way up. And I hope I'll be having my man from your show by my side. I, I, I hope so, too. So let's do so it. So how do, we, how do we find these people? Like, Well, we're about to do it right now. Give me your Facebook okay. page. And if a guy is interested, he's going to reach out to you via Facebook. Okay. Cool. So you said give me my Facebook page? right now? Yes. It's Ivy Johnson. Can I give you my IG too? You can do both. Yes, you can. I like, I like, I like IG better. So y'all can inbox me on IG. It's better because a lot of weirdos on Facebook sometimes. It's M Z I V Y Q U E E N. What is the Ms. word? Ivy Look it up while we're on the phone. Yes, Miss Ivy Queen. Period. Oh, okay. Make sure y'all men inbox me. Cause wait, I, so wait, spell it again. M Z M Z I V Y I V Y Miss yes. Ivy. Queen, Q -U -E. oh, yes, Miss Ivy. Is it Queen, Miss Ivy? This you? Yes, ma'am. Why are you not following me on Instagram? No, because I didn't know you go live over there. I'm over here with it. I swear to God, I'm always over here. I'm gonna follow you right now. I'm gonna follow okay, you right now. So wait, I'm, I'm trying to get it so they can see clear. Uh, yeah. I'm definitely for the folly right now because I love you. I just found out about you. Somebody shared you to me because they know I was looking for love. So after that, I've just been watching and watching. I'm like, damn, and then you're funny. You're amazing. Are you single? We're no, done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I'm like, girl, you should be married so well. Girl, God damn, you're so funny and cute. But I love you. I appreciate you. And I will be back. If I find anyone, I will be back and give you all of the details. Yes. Um, your Instagram this, right? page is M-Z-I-V-Y-Q-U-E-E-N. M-Z-I-V-Y-Q-U-E-E-N. <laughs> I, I will say this. I, I didn't answer the I know people ask me that all the time. Now, 
And I know I get new people every day, every day to the show. Um, but to answer that question that people are always asking, I was once in a relationship very public on my show. When it ended, I really hated that there were so many questions people had. So I decided moving forward, I was not going to share my dating anymore because I'm a public figure and y'all be all in their business and I don't like that. So, and I ain't gonna lie so to I you. Say, I will say I am not lonely. That's how I'm gonna say it. that too. I'm gonna say that and I'm, we can finish with that. Like, by me being social media and I got 100,000 followers on the other platform I go live on. I don't want nobody to know about that because if my future husband is here, you can't see where I go live because, yeah, I do crazy shit over there. Are you but, my OnlyFans? No, I want to though, but I don't know if my new husband would like that. So I want to wait about two more years. If I'm still single, then fuck it. But I literally, my one of my relationships was ruined due to social media too. So I definitely agree with that. No shade. Okay, but um, but yeah. So so that's that. But um, with that being said, you were a joy, Ivy. Keep me. Thank you. Love those. you, Kendra. I'm gonna follow you on IG. Period. I will right, go to Instagram here. actually in a second. So Kendra G Media. Oh, okay, cool. Kendra okay. Kendra Media. Okay. Yes. All right. Bye, Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going, child. Ooh, child. Um, uh, ooh. Let's see. Uh, she was a lot. This was a good full hour. I felt like everybody was kind of entertaining in their own way this whole entire show. Um, um, yeah. 